Hi, I'm Laura Miller and welcome to Stress Solutions University. We're working through 99 things you wish you knew before stressing out. Today we're in chapter 2 and it's lesson 11, Mirrors Distort the True You. I remember when I was going through the cancer and divorce at one point when um, I covered all my mirrors. There are actually cultures that believe that the mirror robs you of an authentic view of your soul that flows from your soul. And so I covered all of my mirrors in the house because I wanted to connect within to my spirit. Knowing what the, the French mystic said many, 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 many years ago, that we are first and foremost spiritual beings having a physical experience. And in order to, to be ready to see the physical in an authentic way, I knew that I needed to connect to my spirit first and foremost. So I covered my mirrors when I lost my hair and, and breasts at the same time for, for several days. And then I remember the day when I took the, the um, little thumbtacks out and the sheet dropped down and there I stood before myself, completely bald and breastless. And I remember the, the, the physical image that I saw shocked me at first. And I took a deep breath and I looked deeper. And then I saw a part of me within that I had never seen before because of the distractions of the non-essentials that are outside of me. So today, think of your life. Move from the inside out versus the outside in. As you check your reflection in the world to see how you're coming across and, and to see if the hairs are in place and all of that, pause and check your reflection the reflection of your soul is connected to God. As many times as you, as you check to, to make sure you're presentable to the world, check your soul and make sure you're aligned with what you value most in life. Check your soul and make sure you're moving from a place of that which, of, of the things that you value most in life. And then move forth into the world. But remember that, that the images that we see and, and that we, we perceive ourselves being are oftentimes distorted because of false beliefs and past pain. So to reconnect within to the authentic you as connected to God will give you that perception of life that doesn't rise and fall depending on what you physically see because it exists beyond the five senses. And so you're anchored and you can move out into the world without the fear, the doubt, and the worry. Have a beautiful day of life today, and I look forward to the next time we meet. Take care.